Hey friends, this is Pocky's Preview. The week of April 4th, March has come and gone. Uh, the NCAA basketball tournament is complete, so we're excited to move on to the next phase of the sporting universe. Uh, last weekend, we did have a Level 5 junior event in Valdosta. Keith Childry down at Tennis Valdosta did a great job organizing that, so thank you, Keith, for your efforts. Uh, and then we started the uh, new Banana Open uh, adult tournament series in Macon, so a lot of players enjoyed the great weather we had last weekend in Macon. So congratulations to all those players. Now this weekend in the tournament side, the main feature is the Level 4 Southern East Clay Court Open, the adult event down at Jekyll Island. Stuart Atkins, we wish him and the crew down at Jekyll the best of luck this weekend running that event. So good luck to all those players uh, going down to Jekyll to compete. On the collegiate side, we're getting almost through the season here. Uh, I just thought of it. The good news is we have the ACC Tennis Championships in Rome coming up, as well as the SEC men uh, that the University of Georgia is hosting. So we'll talk about that more on a future show, but looking forward to two of the best conference tournaments being in our home state towards the end of April. Uh, Talking Tennis Southern Style will release a new episode on Thursday, focusing on the Billie Jean King Cup tie between the United States and the Ukraine uh, that is in Asheville, North Carolina. So best of luck to our U.S. squad in that match. Uh, Claire Bartlett's Me and My Racket. Uh, Callan Constancianu of North Atlanta Tennis Academy was her feature interview this past week, so be sure to check out uh, that great conversation that Callan and uh, Claire had. Uh, we had a couple coaches spotlights uh, on our website and social media. Our middle school coach website was Darby Steinet of Pierce County Middle School, so thank you, Darby, for all you do for tennis. And we also had a PE coach spotlight that just came out, and that was Sandy Rodney of Northwestern Middle School and Alpharetta High School. So two tremendous uh, ladies uh, in the school environment uh, promoting tennis for youth uh, all over the school. So we appreciate both those ladies. Uh, we're very happy here at UST Georgia to announce we have rescheduled our 2021 awards uh, banquet to Saturday night, June the 18th. Uh, we unfortunately had to postpone that back in February due to some COVID-19 pandemic issues, but we're back on June 18th. So looking forward to seeing everyone there. And that goes for you as well, Sam Crenshaw. Can't wait to see you MC that event. Uh, remember National Tennis Month is next month. A lot of organizations around the state are preparing to have some really cool, unique events. So we'll look forward to celebrating our great sport throughout the month of May. Uh, but I did want to take a minute uh, before we end this today is a lot of you know that uh, USJ Southern Executive Director, longtime John Callen, uh, passed away on Sunday evening uh, due to illness. And uh, John was a past president of ours here at USJ Georgia. Uh, his name is right behind me here in the Sessions Georgia Family Tennis Hall of Fame, class of 2004. Uh, John's impact on Southern tennis cannot be overstated. He was a giant in this world of, of our organization, uh, a caring man, compassionate, did a tremendous job making people feel like their opinion was being valued and listened to. And uh, if there's something we can learn from John moving forward, that certainly is something I'm going to try to take from him. Um, from a personal standpoint, John was a great friend of mine, a huge supporter in the time I've been here in Georgia. Uh, our hearts and sympathies go out to uh, Francis, his wife, and the entire Cowan family. What a, what a tremendous loss uh, for not only the sport of tennis, but our organization as well. So our condolences to the Callan family and everybody at USJ Southern on this, on this very tragic loss. So we'll look forward to next week's uh, Potkey's preview. Until then, please do what you can for your fellow person and keep your eye on the ball.